I've had some requests to do some gear videos where I do tours of all my gear like I did with my crossbow collection so today I'm going to do gas masks and uh, an important thing I'm going to put an annotation type card in the video straight away that shows you um, the playlist I've got of all my masks because you'll see them in a lot more detail there in this one I'm basically just going to show you any masks that are out and satchels for them so on my wall I've got the Canadian C3 you can see it's starting to fray a bit there I've had it on the wall so long but I'm not going to wear that mask, there's plenty more of those around on the surplus mask market. Um, a Nokia M61 third gen with the um, voice emitter box. A German um, gas mask 38 from World War II. This is damaged, that's why I've got it hanging on the wall. It's just hanging by one of its straps. <coughs> but, um, quite a famous mask, the sort of Wehrmacht mask from World War II. And here's the M61 second gen because it's got the rubber sort of XL valve there, not the full on sort of voice emitter. Uh, over on the right side of the wall, we've got the um, GP4, that's a Russian mask, the one before the GP5 with a hose on it. And we've got the FM12 Avon mask, which is a bit like an S10. I find it a bit more comfortable, but it doesn't have a drinking tube on it. On this shelf, we've got an S10 in its satchel. The British General Service respirator replaced the S10 in its satchel with the multi-cam on it, multi-terrain pattern, rather than the old wooden DPM. Then we've got, I'm assuming this is the Schmus, S-C-H-M-S, a Soviet mask in here, it's definitely a Soviet bag. Um, here we have a much newer issue Soviet bag, this is probably like the PDF little sort of face marks with the cheek filters. This is the Polish gas mask I've got, um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it'll be in the playlist and it's got the old Polish worm camo on there. This is going to be one of the M17, or two of these here, of the rip-off M17 masks from different Warsaw Pack countries. I think this one... Actually, no, there's a hose in there. Let me open it up and see what's in there. But anyway, that one on the right is definitely either a Bulgarian or a um, sort of Polish uh, M17 clone. Let's see what's in that one. I think that might be one of my World War II masks. Uh, apologies, I was right the first time when I said Polish, but it's like the Polish GP5 combat mask. Got a slightly longer snout, and in there it's got the hose and a long canister filter, rather than the little filters. Now crammed in on top of this uh, cabinet, I have an Israeli M15. Uh, there's the Belgium riot mask, I think it's the BM4GP. Uh, you can just see sticking out of its filter there. There's the GP5. There is, I can't remember its name right now, I think it might be the CM4, which is a Czechoslovakian, basically, uh, old Draeger M65 ripoff, which is what the Israeli M15 is also built on. Also, apologies, might be getting some of the names of the mask wrong because I haven't looked at some of them in years or ages. Um, there's a PMG there next to a sealed Israeli filter. And there's some GSR filters still sealed there. There's an Israeli civilian mask hanging up here, along with an empty gas mask satchel. Right, old British Army General Service respirator here. I think that's the Mark V in this one. Then here I've got, I think this is the Polish Bulldog mask, which is a copy of the M17. Here's a Czech M10M which is basically a very good high quality copy of the M17. These Germans also use this. This one has the nicest satchel bag of the lot. Um, this is, I think, the um, ch Child's Gas Mask. Whatever that one was called, the Russian Child's Mask. I've forgotten the name. This is the S6 or SR6 British respirator. There is um, the old French mask, the Belgian mask. I think it was the M51, AMP M51. I think's the name for it. Um, also, apologies if that isn't the child's mask, because there's also the GP7 and the sort of PMK, which have a similar sort of bag to that. Here I've got this East German mannequin all set up, and he's got an MM1 tank mask on with the Stauhelm. And that's just going into that bag of a filter. But this is the one I keep on display. I don't really mind that the sun's wearing the mask down, because obviously I have much more efficient masks to wear if I wanted to use one, but it looks good as a display piece. Another MM1 buried on the shelf. Now here's a canister with what I assume is an old French mask in it. Looking at that writing it looks like it's French. 
but I think there was some that might have been a few other countries that used, you know, the French language. Again, it's probably been identified on a video where I've uploaded it again, I've since forgotten, but it'll probably be in the playlist, knowing these masks. Big chunky filter on that one. And we also have what was another country's copy of the German 38 mask, just covered in a different material and used by a different country, but that's in that tin. Apologies if this is quite dark to see, but I have some masks down here. The one on the left in the tin is the M9. Then there's another satchel mask, which I think is in those M17 clone type masks. Um, then there's another canvas web bag type mask. I can't even remember in all honesty what's in any of these. I know there's a gas mask in that box. I think that's the Mickey Mouse respirator and a couple of others. Then I also have, uh, that's where the GP7 is. I think that one on the shelf is the PMK. But yeah, as I said, please look through my playlist because I've shown all the masks off in there and I'll actually remember the names of them properly in that one compared to this one. I'm just trying to remember where everything is.